Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here and it is World or International Collage Day. So we're going to do some collaging and also because it's May, Mermaid, I'm doing an underwater theme and I'm going to collage in my journal. This is where I do my daily journaling, but then of course I also do some other art prompts in it. Oops, sorry, not that. Um, and I've already prepared my background and it's a beautiful sunny day here today. So just ignore those shadows, but it's just so beautiful. Um, it's a bit cool. So we're gonna let the sun shine in. I've prepared this with three different pieces of paper that I got out of magazines from my stash, but obviously I wanted a nice watery ocean sort of theme for my background, and I just wanted to let it dry before I stuck on all the other little bits that I've collected. Now, virtually all of these are from magazines. I think I've got one or two die cuts in there that I'm going to use, and let's glue. So, um, this first piece that I'm going to put down is quite a large one, and I've just got my little gluing happening here over on the side. I've got an old, just an advertising real estate magazine that I use for all my gluey stuff. I keep them whenever they come in the junk mail so that I don't have to waste precious book pages or anything like that. So these big glossy magazines are great for preparing gluey things. Now, I absolutely love this thing. This came out of a, I think it might have been a Breathe magazine, which is one of my absolute favourites for collaging because I love their paper and they usually have fabulous artwork in them. So Breathe magazine, Frankie Magazine and Daphne's Diary are just three mags I can't live without and I always end up with lots of delightful fodder. And this is all about saving the reef slash the ocean and a reminder not to put your rubbish in the water. If you have any rubbish, take it away with you. So that's what I'm going to be playing with here. This is all about looking after the ocean. It's my happy place. I adore it. Last weekend, I had the most incredible walk along. It, look, the sun was shining and I went for a four kilometre walk along the beach. That's why I moved up to the Sunshine Coast because the beach is truly my happy place and I'm a big advocate for looking after it. I never take rubbish and if I do sometimes I do take a coffee down to the beach when I go for a walk but I make sure it comes back with me there is no way I am going to oh sorry I knocked that again my new tripody arrangementy thing is um, due for delivery it may actually even come today and then I won't have to use this stupid El Cheapo thing from Kmart because I did order one and that turned out to be a flop. So I bought this cheapie from Kmart. It's a bit of a miserable fail, I'll be honest at the moment. But it's okay. It is what it is. I have to deal with this until my new one arrives. And I'm hoping it will turn up today. Because this sort of does make life a little bit difficult. Because it's so easy to knock and it, the arm is not very long. But never mind. Does it matter? We will... Make do with what we have until the new one arrives. Now, I've collected just a few interesting things here that uh, sort of aren't really truly reef related or water related, but I loved this. This is like an aircraft window. Oh, yes, no, that's the way it goes. And it was had this beautiful blue. So it's like flying up in the sky, looking over the water. It is the most magnificent sight. I always enjoy that. And of course, I have a few sea critters to add to this. As menacing as they look, they are a vital part of the ecological cycle of the ocean. So I thought we'd better include a shark. My daughter 
that's her favourite animal is a uh, the killer whales. She adores them. She's going um, to go over to Western Australia. Apparently, there is one part of WA where you can go on a whale watching trip and you have a very good chance of actually being able to see a killer whale. I thought Mr. Octopus here was very cute. So he, this is actually made of clay. Um, and so it doesn't matter. I mean, I, they don't all have to be super lifelike. I'm just changing over here to a fresh page. Because otherwise I find sometimes if you keep using the same page, your things stick if you keep layering and layering. I've got this cute clock here with all these little sharks looking up at the birdies. A little reminder that we're running out of time. We have to look after our oceans. I thought that was cool. Now, what else have we got here? All right, we've got some little reefy bits. Build a little bit of a reef down the bottom. Australia is blessed with beautiful reef. But, of course, thanks to mining and a few other not-so-nice things, we are doing a lot of damage to our precious reef. Now, this is this piece here is a, a die cut, but I liked the size of it, so I'm going to use it. But I, I don't think I use my tiger glue when I'm putting die cuts down. I find sometimes... The Uhu glue just, just doesn't quite cut it when it comes to sticking down die cuts. So we're just going to use our Tiger glue. It's super strong and absolutely fabulous for these sort of things. Now, what have I got? I've got a little turtle now to go down. Is there another beautiful little thing that we need to look after? We're... Not far from me here, um, we do have turtles hatching. And if you live on the water's edge at Coolum, at First Bay, for however many months of the year, you're not allowed to have lights on at night outside. Um, so if you have a balcony or something, you're not allowed to have it all lit up because apparently it interferes with the turtles. And so... Um, apparently, I, found, I think it was last week or the weekend before, they monitored the very last hatchlings having broken out of their shells and headed into the water. So for the next few months, if you live in Coolum, you're now allowed to have lights on, on your balcony if you want to, because the turtles, of course, are not hatching there at the moment. But um, I didn't realise I'm now following a Facebook group where you can find out when they're hatching because obviously it's all very closely monitored. Um, and so that's how they knew that the last lot were coming out. Absolutely fascinating and fabulous because we need all of that. Then I've got a cute little lobster down there. Now, what have we got here? Or oh, starfish. Need one of those. Put him down here. Ah, now I've got some cute little fishies. They're a bit. Uh, I don't think they're very realistic. A couple of these, but that doesn't matter. I just loved all the colours in that. I think he needs to go up here somewhere. Actually, we might put him there. No, let's move him across there. There we go. And, of course, it's mermaid. So I have a mermaid die cut here. I, I just, I love mermaid because I love the ocean so much. So I sort of theme all my, like, for example, my journaling pages and everything are all sort of nautical themed for May because I absolutely love it and it also makes it easy I don't have to think about what I'm going to decorate my pages with as long as it's something nautical well we're all good and I enjoy it so that's why 
I thought I would have to do a mermaid inspired collage. And I think she needs to be sitting on the rock, on the coral there. There we go. Love that die cut because it didn't have a white edge. I love those sort of die cuts. They're definitely the best. Now I've got a seahorse. Where are we going to fit him in? He's quite large. He needs a house. Where can, oh, we might, um, might layer him in here. Why not? He can sit down hiding in the corals. Whoops. Oh, I don't know if I've got quite enough glue on that tail there. Better add a bit more. There we go. Then I also thought I would add this little surfboard. Because surfers love the ocean. We might put that up there, riding the waves. And lucky last, I have one tiny little fishy. I found this in okay, Frankie magazine. And he's actually a fishy that's been sewn with glitter. And I thought, oh, that's that's just up my alley. So we'll pop that in there. So there we go. I think that's pretty full now. Oh, I need to fix this little tail. Is being very naughty down here. So that that's it. That's my nautical themed collaging for International Collage Day. Definitely a good day to get your scraps out and do some gluing. Hope you enjoyed this. If you love the ocean as much as I do, let me know. And what's your favourite beach to go swimming at? I'd love to hear. Pop it down in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.